up to the front door of the residence, open it, and exit with your hands up. Failure to comply will result in the appropriate amount of force to be applied. Okay, I'm good. All right, I want to see the search warrant. No, I want to see it now. I want to know what it says. I already called the lawyer. If you keep pointing that gun at my granddaughter, you're going to have a big problem. Put your gun away. There's a child here. I am videoing this. It is live on Facebook. There is nobody here! Shut your f***. I won't see the warrant. The agents will bring that up. We don't the what them. agents? There's agents that are back here. We'll call them up. You just again. broke in our house. Pulled up here like this. What the f***? It's okay, baby. Let's get her behind here. It's cold outside. Let's get her back here. We're not going anywhere with you. I'm Ravana, and welcome back to Rebel HQ. Illinois State Police used a ramming vehicle to run down the fence of this family's farm. That vehicle was preceded by four more armored vehicles and 20 Illinois State Police officers armed with assault rifles. The reason why the police showed up to this family's house in the first place is absolutely shocking. But before we get to that, I want to show this next bit of footage that the family took where one of the police officers is discussing how he would shoot the man with less than lethal force. But don't worry, he's only going to shoot him in the legs. You come to us. No, we're not coming to you. You are literally with that. It's less lethal. It's not that, lethal. I don't give a f lethal. Um, you don't know who has freaking heart conditions here. Second. Where's the war time? Well, I'm not going to aim at your arm. I'm aiming at your legs or your lower portion. Yeah, 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 yeah. Never mind. What horrific crime could this family have committed to cause five armored vehicles and 20 Illinois state troopers to show up at their house and force them to stand outside in the cold with no shoes and only wearing their pajamas, as well as to aim a gun at a six-year-old girl? They did all of this for some supposedly stolen baseball cards. A list of items recovered by the police include two lamps, baseball cards, baseball helmets, figurines, a saxophone, cameras, binoculars, pictures, documents, Norman Rockwell items, and John Deere memorabilia. The police showed up at this family's house in armored vehicles with guns in hand to recover some allegedly stolen lamps. The event was so traumatic for the family that the woman recording the video actually passed out while the police were searching her home and had to be taken to an area hospital. And to make matters worse, this issue stems from a family dispute over an estate. The woman recording the video's own sister-in-law reported to the police that the family in the video broke into her home in 2022 and stole these items that she had received in the will. But remember those two lamps that I mentioned that were recovered? Now, apparently this break-in happened in 2022, but the woman who posted the video has evidence that she had the lamps in her possession in 2021. The lamps were sitting on here. All right, so here's a picture of that curio cabinet with the lamps on it, right there. Those are the lamps they took. See all the figurines in there? Those are all gone. Okay, so I'm gonna go down here and I'm gonna look at the details for this picture. And like I said, didn't move it because I didn't want anything to done with it. There's the details for that picture of when it was taken. So not only were the Illinois police willing to send a SWAT team to this family's house to recover allegedly stolen items, they didn't even do any research to see if the items were stolen in the first place. 